Okay, welcome to my Let's Play of Age of Conan. We're going to play an unconquered bear shaman. This is on my premium account. Playing a Sumerian bear shaman. I wanted to start this a little earlier, but had some technical problems, so this is where we're at. I've already cleared out this area over here on the beach. And the only thing that a new player has missed is the opening cutscene, character creation of course, and then the opening cutscene of where the ship is in a storm, it wrecks, um, and half sinks as you can see. You actually are dying or drowning and then you're brought to the surface and you wash up on the shore. And Calanthus is the one that speaks with you. And he has given us a quest. Waking up on a strange beach, I cannot remember who I am. I was helped by a man called Calanthus. He told me that I should go to the city of Tortage to learn about my past and about the strange mark I have on my chest. He said that there was another survivor, the slaver from the ship. I must find him and kill him before he reaches the city. So, if he makes it to the city, he will declare uh, to the authorities that there are slaves loose. I will not be able to make it back into the city, and I will be re-enslaved. So, we are going to try and fight for our freedom. Here we go. Now, the Unconquered, I believe, has changed from its initial design. I believe before it was a hardcore character, but if you died, it was a permanent death. Now, I do not believe that is the way it is any longer. If it is, so be it. But I wanted to give it a try. Um, it states in the description that with the hardcore character, you can choose to make a character hardcore, you will earn different rewards, possible vanity items. But once you die the first time, you are stripped of that title and any future rewards. So I don't really see a downside to being unconquered. Um, I may learn the hard way that that is incorrect, but we are going to try it. For those wondering uh, about the graphics setup, I have most things set to high. DirectX 10, of course. I don't have any AA because I have that through Reshade. But here are the settings for those that are curious. Which, I mean, it's an old game. 2008, but of course I think it was updated in 11 or 14 with the DirectX 10 depending on even if DX10 was out in 11, I don't remember. But also I have Reshade. And these are my settings with Reshade. Clarity, HDR, MXAO, DLC Sharpen, SMAA, and DPX. This is just the look I like. You can play around with those settings and try many different combos. There are some pre presets out there. I don't know if there, you will find any presets for a game this old, but you really don't have to. Now there's Earl. Back here was Doug. They were my fellow Rosemen. So first, let's go and speak with this uh, strange woman that has washed up on the shore. No, I am the strange man that washed up on the shore. She is the woman that's been captured. A friendly face I don't remember so her from the ship. Free me, I beg you. Those brutes set upon me in a park less than an hour ago and ran me down as I fled. Animals. Fear not, I'll cut you down. Cut through iron chains? Are you mad? You need a key. Insult me, will you? I may just change my mind. 
who carries the key. Has the key. He's a petty raider captain from Tortage. He and his small gang are nearby. Slit that bastard's throat and, and loot his corpse. Please, don't leave me here. I seek the city. Do you know the way? There's a winding path to the east. And I'll show you the way if you take me with you. It won't be an easy walk for all day I've heard voices calling out. Some just raiders drinking and making merry. Others savage howls. Likely Picts in their hunting paint. I'll hunt down this scavenger. Please, hurry. He's on the beach picking through the bones of this sunken ship. That's my job. Farewell then. Speaking of picking through the bones of the sunken ship, uh, before I recorded, I did swim out. Most people forget this, but if you after washing up on the shore, if you just turn around and swim under the water here, right here is usually a chest. It just has a couple of things in it, a healing potion, a couple of pearls. You can hold down shift to sprint run. Um, you can also hold down shift to swim faster. And there's the scavenger. Toot. Or tut. Dead man. Okay, we've got the key, but we're going to continue on over here. I see more scavengers. Maybe they have something good. Let's see if we can get them all grouped here. Uh oh, we've got four of them on us. We're in trouble now. Well, we leveled up. That gives us a nice little boost to hit points. If you notice, we're going to take just a moment here. This man has shields. This is actually indicating which area that they are defending the most. I have attacks from different directions. If I attack on his head, he will be better defended against that. If I attack from the left, the same way. But if I attack from the right, there are no defenses. It does more damage. We we'll took a little bit of health damage there. We can rest, and that will restore mana, stamina, and health more quickly. But in these beginning area levels, you really don't have to worry that much about it. Crocodiles, I don't like to group up like that because they are just they're just too big, man. It's hard to get them all in one hit. Plus the crocodiles. I can't hardly see which direction the shields are. That's one beef I have with the game. Beautiful game. Um, I usually try to keep bloom at a minimum. The in-game bloom's a little too bright. But especially on these sandy beach areas. Okay, that's another thing I'm going to explain here. Uh, this is what's called a combo. You will have different uh, combo abilities in the game. And if you notice here, if you read down, it tells you the weapon requirements, the stamina cost, what level you got this ability, how many follow-up attacks there are, and the direction, UL, upper left. So let me hit it here, and that will do one swing from the right, and then it requires me to attack from the left. And I will hit this side that way, and of course you can see he didn't like that and shifted all defenses to his right, my left, and I will now do overhead attacks and just kill him quickly. That's combat in a nutshell. It does get a little bit more hectic, especially higher level. You can have many different direction, directional attacks and follow-up that are required. It's kind of like a Simon Says. Don't panic. That's the one thing that people usually do, and I'm sure I will do it, but I'll try not to. Come at me, Croc. You're gonna die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't mean to get both of you. 
Well, you're a big boy, aren't you? Let's go from the right side now. Got him! Now, I have auto loot. Normally, a lot of people you'll see, they'll click, click, click. But if you go under miscellaneous, not miscellaneous, go to controls. Right here, you can start, stop sneaking. That's one. I mean, there are many key bindings, but these are the ones that uh, usually are not in other games. At the very bottom, in the miscellaneous, you have auto loot. I have mine set to F, of course. And then you can also do that with these chests. Instead of clicking on the... I can click on this bag of loot, or I can just hit F, and it loots everything. There we go. Right, I got me a belt. A gold tooth. And a half-digested foot. Just what I always wanted. Let's drag a potion down here in case we need it. Do not depend on potions too heavily in this game. I mean, they are handy at times. But if you do use them, don't wait too late to use them. It's not like in other games where potions can save your life. It's very little healing. It's more of a... Um, it's a base heal. This one's only like, what, 30? And then 4 every 1 second. For how many? 60 seconds. So it, you do heal up over time. It's more for a at the end of combat or if you can get your defenses up. Now there are some defenses in the game. I never adjust my shields. That is possible, but I just never got into that. Now you can block with, well I have X as block, but it drains stamina constantly. And stamina is so important for your abilities, for your combos. Oh, look at here, we got slam. The slam is an ability that it becomes useless after level six. So use it up until level six. At level seven and above, get rid of it. It's just it's a good knockback until then. Shift L to unlock your bars. I usually have my crowd control at nine. And the reason these numbers are so weird is because I am using an MMO mouse. I'm using the Logitech G600, has the buttons on the side. And how I grip the mouse, my thumb reaches the back six. If my hand, if I was did more of a claw, or more of a palm instead of a, or let's say, claw and grip. I can't remember the two comparisons there, but... My hand is back further on the mouse, so my thumb is not freakishly long. And so I can reach only the back six, which is plenty for me because I number seven, then shift seven, and then so forth. You have been ill used, Casilda. I'll protect you now. Gods, each dawn that you found me here. Come then, to the city. Maybe once you're safe, I'll reward you for your efforts. Gods, go with you. Hey! Seems that lately there have been more people interested in this game. And I don't see a whole lot of Let's Play. We see a, a few. But I'm hoping that maybe we can get more people interested in it. I don't have a huge following on my channel. I do thank those that subscribe and those that have watched my videos over the years. I've really not done any kind of streaming. It's been forever since I have uploaded videos. But I thought maybe this would be a good time. If it goes well, we'll continue with it. Hope you all enjoy it. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's see if we can use this uh, knockdown. Oh yeah, that worked. Alright, we was able to get... Hey, there's a panther back here that didn't come in the fight.
Alright, we get anything good off of him? Well, we got this. I don't use them. Well, let's put some shoes on. Now normally when you open with that combo, one thing I like about it is it attacks first from the right, which shifts usually gets them to shift their uh, defensive over. Both these guys are using pole arms, that's why they're able to uh, sit back further away and attack. Pole arms can be very powerful, very deadly, and you can reach people, a lot more people. In this game, you can actually block other players, and you can't run through people or animals. To get around that in non-hostile areas, you can crouch. So if you ever get to a place where you're like, man, let me through, you just click the crouch and you can move through. I believe they, they did that. A lot of that is from the... Uh, PvP allows you to actually create walls of defense, you know? Come on, let's get him. Give me that hood. Hey, I got the hood. That's a rare, that's a rare drop. <laughs> Alright, give me that sucker. Oh, what a treat. Okay, we got, uh, actually got a Oh, that was from the last one, wasn't it? Oh, it did get a club, though. From 6.1 to 8.9, so... Got a bigger stick now. Let's go use it. Now, you've noticed that my guy keeps his weapon out after combat. That is a conscious decision, and you can actually adjust that under Interface Options and Basic. And right here, Weapon Equipping. Automatically draw your weapon when attacked and automatically sheath it when not attacked anymore. The reason I get rid of it is because a lot of times after combat ends it will put your weapon up but that happens right during the middle of a combo and it looks goofy. So I just uncheck it. Sometimes I just like to run around with my weapon out, you know? I mean I'm running through this hostile dungeon or a uh, jungle. I'm not going to... Oh I got me a nice little crit there. Isn't that sweet? Okay, uh, are these all the same? Yeah. We end up destroying a couple of them anyway. for those guys. Come on now. There we go. Alright, let's go up here. Oh man, I'm surprised I didn't get you. Anything good? Nope. So we got a chest piece. We'll keep that hood, I think. Oh, nah, that slaver hood. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, let's use that hood. For our vanity. Hit level five. What do we get here? A 
if we're left. Um, it's actually a taunt. I hardly ever use this one. We'll drag it over here for now, but I usually don't use that one. Do use the bleed though. I gotta go to something, fellas. Let's go here to the archer. One thing you notice is that I can target one, but you don't necessarily just have to stay focused on the one. You can actually hit many around. That's one thing I love about the combat. Do we get everything? Yep. Another thing I need to move my bar right down here. That's why I usually like to keep that. Get here and get this. I don't want to. to death. I must be really good with a club to be able to specifically cause a arterial bleed. I'm that good. There he is. Who stands before Sadur? Who likes to speak in the third person? I know you, slaver. You wielded the lash aboard that accursed ship. It seems the gods smile upon Sadur this day. I thought I was the only one to survive, but it seems some of my property was spared. Come, I'll clamp irons around your throat and put you to work, slave. You look like you lost a fight with a bear, you fat piece of filth. It was no bear, a creature, some kind of beast. But it's no matter. The gate here is locked, and that demon guards the key in the ruins nearby. Come, we must be swift. While it feasts upon your flesh, I'll take the key and make my way to the city. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. No. You would die if you tried to taste that pleasure. Sadur is a practical man. He will make you a promise. If you survive the demon's feast, he will take you to Tortage and sell you there. Is that not fair, slave? Your days of dealing in flesh are over. Come and die, Sadur. Brave words from one who has worn a slave's chains. The shame of servitude finally overcame your cowardice, did it? But tell me, is it not better to live as a slave? Fight me, and your bones will bleach under the Bratian sun. Kneel now, and I will forget this play acting of you possessing a backbone. I am a slave no more, dog. I am free, and I am your death. Though you bear the mark and are worth much to me. Slave master Ulrich despises troublesome property. You will not sacrifice yourself to the demon. Bah! The great serpent shall I'm not sure how he has defenses while he's laying on the ground. But hey, you know, some do. And we got his scimitar, but unfortunately, we, as a bear shaman, do not use edged weapons. We are a priest, and we do not like to shed blood. 
from a blade. We just like to beat people to death. Uh, it's, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, now we've got the key to proceed through this gate. Even though he told us that the beast that he had fought in the ruins to the left possessed the key. Took it from him. Or possessed the key. I don't know how he knew, but he knew that it had the key. They changed that um, to make the leveling process faster. However, you miss out on some loot. You miss out on some XP. So we're going to go and I missed, I think. Well, I accidentally, as you saw there, I don't know if you noticed it or not, I jumped to the left. That's actually a dodge. I think if you double with your weapon out, if you double tap, you'll dodge. You can actually dodge attacks. I'm not very good at it. It's never intentional. But I don't say, maybe I shouldn't say never, but it's hardly ever intentional. Not a whole lot of things I enjoy less than missing in combat. Come at me, Mauler. The hill isn't very good at this level, but it helps. As you can see, two health. I've got those numbers increased because I'm I'm uh, I'm an older fellow. I got some eyesight that's to leave something to be desired, you know. All right, come on in here so I can see your health. Okay, there we go. Let's go over here. Let's just use a Potion I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, it just heals very little, but it does help you reach in. Thing in this chest. Oh, yeah. Got us a nice little ring. The inventory's full. We'll get rid of some of the 110 items. Well, this is. Let's see, is that worth. Yeah, it's worth three. And also, we can equip. Yes, that. Uh, switch back. We got some gator. Now let's keep the theme going here. Let's go. Let's see, we cleared out that side, didn't we? Yeah. All right. Oh man, he missed again. What a bummer. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on,
Got lucky on that one. All right, we took some hits there. We're gonna rest. All right. <laughs> I like how not everybody has a melee weapon just at the ready. Archers. I mean, they're archers. That's that's their whole existence. Still think they'd have a knife though, huh? But I guess they just feel better. Some of them more comfortable using their fists. I'm pile of demon blood. And definitely want to get rid of the some 110 items. We're going to need more slots. 210, 210, 2. Two, two, I think that's it. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got another pirate ring. Alright, so that's two con, I believe it stacks. Let's look. Let's see, our constitution is nine. Yep, it does stack. There we go. Okay, anything that we can use. Now we got the dagger and the claw. The bite is a two handed sword, nice for a barbarian or a herald of Zoli. Or anything else can use a two handed. Okay, yeah, now before. Uh, as I stated, the key was here. He was actually in here, I believe. We had to get the key. You had to kill him, get the key from him, unlock this chest. I had the key here or something like that. And I know, I'm pretty sure that the key was here. So, we got the key. So now we can go back to the gate. But we gained almost a full level just in grinding. I suggest doing it. Unless you're just in a really, really big hurry to get to end uh, to get through the stuff. A lot of people are. A lot of people just have done Tortage so many times that they just want to be done with it, you know? Okay, let's get to this gate. I always love that skeleton. It's pretty cool. Let me pass, monkey. Level six. All right. So this is our last level of using this one. Eh, <laughs> I missed with it. Totally whiffed. Sometimes I get bananas. So I've not gotten a banana yet. Wow, I'm surprised that I've not yet got a banana from a gorilla. Oh, gorilla, not gorilla. Banana, there it is. Eat that sucker. Give us a little food buff for an hour, plus seven to health, plus. 2.2 non-combat health reach in. Not the best food, but better than what we had in our belly. Better than a stomach full of seawater. Oh, I kind of missed him, didn't I? Tougher enemies like this, that bleed can come in very handy. 
And one thing you'll notice here, as I have noticed, is that this big Ape King boss, he's so much weaker than these normal jungle apes. It seems like, anyway. Alright. We gotta have one more space because he drops a gem. 210, 310, 2, 2. I mean, I'm. I'm really. Really being kind of ridiculous here because we don't need to really focus that much on trying to save money right here. I mean, it's just. You get money pretty regular through the game. Alright, so we got the gym. 4310, that's pretty good. And notice also, for those who aren't familiar with the currency system, 10 is the. Normally it's copper, right? In any other MMO. Any other RPG, it starts off with copper. But here it's 10. 110 make a copper. 100 copper make a silver. And then 100 silver make a gold. Gold being the top. I thought there was platinum, but I think I'm misremembering. Friend? Another gate. At least this one seems to be unlocked. On the other side, the city awaits us. We're close enough for me to make my own way from here. I have little coin or anything of value to reward you for the help you've given me, but uh, speak with me inside the city and I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. I'll see you inside the city walls. Just remember to say nothing about escaping your captors or killing any slavers. You crush picked heads with great skill, but... Stay out of trouble in this city if you want to see another sunrise. We'll meet again. Login rewards. Yeah, there we go. Ah, forgot about inventory being full. Yeah, let's kill a couple of these panthers. That's all the 110 items. All right. We'll save this slaver's hood when I get inside. Speak with the trader. The trader, he actually acts as a boss, or not a boss. What am I talking about? He acts as a uh, bank. A bank. And an auction house. And the post office. Hey. Turok. Why? I'm looking for the city. <laughs> Look around you. You see trees, dust, the blood of the volcano, and a city made of stone right before you. I could spit and hit the wall from where I stand. <laughs> Why do you think I'm building this dam? Stop wasting my time. Go then. I am, I am an imbecile. Hey? That is a fine weapon. Of course it is. I'm the one oh, it can't take all. compliments. I see. I would be ashamed if it was not the best work I can do. But the pirates need such keen blades. True. Most pirates are desperate scamps who fight with rusty cutlasses and blunted daggers. But some are fighting men, 
who know a good sword when they see one is to those that I sell my blades. Would you do me a small favor? What do you need? The finest blue steel is made from an ore found only in my homeland, Samaria. I've got a supplier who sends me this metal. There should be a trade of it down at the North Docks, just eastward of the harbour market. Would you fetch it for me? I can offer a reward. I'll dig something out of my stockpile. I'll fetch this blue war for you. Take this note and find Captain Redrick at the docks. His cursed slave ship just came into port. It's got my oar on board. By crom, if that ship sank and I lost my oar, it would still be worth it just to end that foul trade. Okay, then. Why do you curse him so? How do you know him? I know him of old. We fought side by side for a time as cell swords on battlefields in a dozen lands. He was among my closest friends. We grew up and I turned to my old trade of smithing. He became a filthy slaver. Go then. I'm going to leave some of the options for players let them experience for themselves. You guys can choose your own responses. A nice city. Oh. oh, that's probably the last. No, no, I'm in! Hey, that's the last guy I tried to get in. Ooh, I don't know. Hey, I am Wall Captain Lalanga. I seek to enter the city. I can't let you in. You wear a prisoner's iron. The Red Hand goes to Taj now. They have no tolerance for escaped slaves on the streets. The Red Hand? You come from many leagues away, yes? The Red Hand is a splinter faction of the Red Brotherhood, the Pirate Alliance of the Western Seas. Admiral Strom controls the Red Hand. Therefore, Admiral Strom controls Tortaj. How can I remove my shackles? You could use a smith's tools or a decent weapon. And I see you carry knife. Hey. Let it never be said that Wall Captain Naranga was a cold man, though. One of the city's blacksmiths, Tura. Cut this nice Walks club. There by the lava river. Speak with him. Goodbye. Farewell. All right, I'm going to end the video there. Well, up here, and then we'll speak with Turak. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please come back. I will continue the adventures of Higliff, the Sumerian bear shaman, unconquered. And hopefully we'll remain unconquered for a while. Not sure if I can make it through the whole game unconquered, but we're going to try our best. Good luck. Have fun gaming.